Hi there, Mark here again, and welcome to this, which is my unboxing of the brand new Super Avanti on the TD4 brand new chassis. Um, this came a couple of days ago, and uh, I'm really pleased about this. It uh, was a gift from the RC Elf, the awesomeness that is the RC Elf, and uh, thank you very much for that. And I'm really going to enjoy putting this one together. So. Uh, Hang on a minute. Doo -doo. What's going on, dude? My box. What you I've doing? got one what too. What are you doing? Get that box out well, of the way. I just thought I'd get my own back, mate, because you haven't introduced me and I'm on the camera. Oh, uh, well, yeah. okay, I was on the camera. <laughs> oh, Rob, get out of the way. I'm sorry about that, guys. Yeah, he's getting his own back on me because I don't know if you've seen his unboxing. Uh, I did go around and do the same thing to him, so I suppose I've got to let him off for that, really. Rob? Do you mind getting on the camera for me, please, mate? Not a problem, sir. <laughs> right, you on the camera then, Rob? I am now, sir. Thanks, mate. Uh, right, so uh, Rob and I will have a bit of a chat about this. Uh, I think I'm sure Rob can add a bit of uh, extra info to oh, this little chat. Sure I can. Um, we'll find out why in a bit. So, yeah. yeah, a little chat about this new model, really. Um, there's been a lot of controversy about this one right. and I think a lot of it is down to the, the use of the, the fancy name but I don't see why that's really an issue um, it, it's a new car basically it is. and I think they wanted to uh, kind of showcase it uh, it's, they've given it a similar kind of livery haven't they mate well, yeah. um, to the Avanti uh, or the, the classic Avanti should we say the, yeah the original is, the original um, but this is something completely different I know uh, and there's a lot of people been moaning about Tamiya not releasing new kits and re reen and re reen the same kits over and over again. And then when they do go out their way, get the designers on a new product, yeah. um, people have been moaning about it. I really don't get it. Um, this really does look something special to me. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a real step up from most of your entry level Tamiyas. It um, is. As such, this is a pretty expensive kit, isn't it, mate? It is, um, mate. It, it is a lot of money for, for, for what it is, but I think it is, when we look at it, um, it will turn out to be worth it, don't you think, Rob? I think so, yes, mate. So, yeah, so um, quickly have a look at the side here. You can see the actual chassis itself there. Yeah. And I think Rob's got a bit of a surprise for us, haven't you, mate? I think what would be better would be... Wow. Guys, have a look at mine. How about that? In an unboxing, we've got an actual completed chassis. Doesn't that look something sweet? Look at that. You can see that the uh, the suspension is really supple. A bit, of, a bit of a drop. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. The way it just sits nicely. You've done a good job on that, Rob. Cheers, dude. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can just look at the engineering involved in that. We've got yeah. uh, ball diff at the back, ball diffs at the yeah. front, haven't we? We've got ball bearings throughout yep um, we've got oil full shocks obviously and they do seem to work really nicely I've got to say uh, we've got cantilever suspension at the front inboard shocks um, we've got hex head screws throughout haven't we certainly have we've so. got uh, fully adjustable suspension toe in toe out yeah you've got uh, camber adjustments you've got basically everything you want haven't you yeah Not, nothing you don't want to make so let's Without further ado, get the uh, lid off this and we'll go through the pieces that make up that. So here we go then. As usual, Tamiya have done their usual brilliant job of box art, haven't they? They have. Yeah, it looks really nice on there and you can see again, it's got the kind of uh, replica driver figure, hasn't it? That was yeah. the original of Anti, so that kind of ties it in as well as the colour scheme and the Bean Nuts is neat logo. But all the rest is completely different. So there we go. Looks pretty cool. Right, so as usual, what we'll do is uh, we're not going to bother rustling through these bags. We'll just get rid of all the bags and show you what you get inside this box. Right then, guys, so there it is. And uh, yeah, there's quite a few parts of this model, isn't there, Rob? Uh, just a bit, mate, just a bit. So yeah, as you can see, most of it is plastic parts trees. And again, some people complain, oh, you're just blooming plastic parts on a Tamiya. But, uh, you know, people don't complain about that on an armour, do they? No. And they're all plastic. And I've got to say, guys, that modern plastics are pretty amazing things. And, yeah. uh, you know, th there's so much more resilience to breaking 
and uh, cracking and so on than uh, the metal parts in a lot of cases. I mean, metal's good where it's, you know, used in the right place, for example, like motor mounts and something like that. And sometimes maybe uh, your wishbones. Yeah. But on the whole, uh, this stuff's much more impact resistant than it. And this yeah. looks like a step up from the uh, entry level plastics. It looks like the carbon reinforced stuff, doesn't it, Rob? Yeah. Uh, and it's fairly rigid, <laughs> Pete. And. Uh, but also it's got a bit of give in it as well, hasn't it? It does, like yeah. say, to uh, guard against impact. So, right, I've got that in man, so we'll start with that piece. This looks like um, your transmission case covers, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, that big long one's the front. Yep, yeah, Rob knows about this because he's already built his, as you know. So that's that part. You've got two of these trees the same, which are your upper and lower wishbones, I think. Yep. Uh, front and rear. Well, so, front and rear with yeah, front lower and rear. wishbones. Lowers, yeah, because as the top ones are adjustable, aren't they? So they I are. forgot about that. Turnbuckles on the top, guys. That's it. So, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, that's and I've just built mine. <laughs> that's those. Then we've got over here, we've got yeah, plastic shock parts, and valves, and so on. Yep. We've got a high torque servo saver, which is yep. a bonus for this kit. I do like those. Uh, you've got your shock bodies, you've got the long and the short for the front and rear. We've got tons of shims, which uh, yeah. look like they're going to be don't fun. Use all of them, but quite a lot. Nice. You've got your ball end adjusters. Yeah. Uh, looks like the wing mounts there. Well, looks... those are surprise, aren't they? What's those that? bevel gears. Yeah, bevel gears in plastic. Yeah. So, yeah. Surprised me, but hey. Well, like I said, plastic's good stuff, mate. Love yeah. it. So there's two of those. Then we've got these are for the. Uh, those are the uh, pivots, aren't they, for the front suspension? Yeah. And these are your C hubs. Yeah. Or wheel hubs. Yeah. So slightly different design to normal. Yep. Yeah, two of those. You've got is that front and rear bumper, Rob? Um, I think you don't use no that one of those you don't use. All oh, right. So a few parts there. Yeah, it looks like a body mount. You've got the uh, chassis tub itself, which yeah. I, in this the battery goes down the middle. And uh, as Rob will tell you, it's all very tight in there, anyway. it, mate? Very tight. And the motor goes here somewhere, doesn't it? It does. Again, nice bit of uh, engineering there with that. And the final tree, the plastic tree. Again, it looks like the uh, diff cases. Yep. That one. Uh, as I say, they're uh, ball diffs front and rear. And uh, you've got your rear shock mount there and various other parts. So, yeah, that's all looking rather nice. So we'll have a quick look at the body, and uh, doesn't this look like something out of a, I don't know, it looks like a futuristic spaceship or something, yeah. it, the way they've done that. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that when you cut it out. Obviously this is the body around here, and these are just little extra parts for those uh, mud guards, aren't they? Yeah. For there, and then the mud guards at the back of those then, Rob? Yeah. And the body finishes there, and then this part you cut out and goes across the top, yeah. so there you go. So that's the interior of the cockpit. Yeah where your driver's going to sit, isn't it? Yeah. Then there's a kind of a fake dash, isn't there, you put on there? There is, yeah. And and this is the rear of the cockpit, is it? Yeah, just that little tiny hump. Right, so that, that uh, is the back sits in there, doesn't it? Yeah. And the last thing there is the wing. And as I've seen on this, can you see that, Rob? There's multiple ways you can cut the wing, isn't it? So you can have yeah. different shapes and different heights. I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Yeah, and I've gone for stock. Right, I think I probably will, mate. And there's your pretty armless driver. Yeah. Yes. But um, he does the job, doesn't he? Well, you can't yeah. really see that much in... Uh, no, I mean, in... once you have the cockpit's in, I don't think you can see whether he should have arms or not. <laughs> right, that's a good job then. So, yeah. Oh, and... Sorry, there we go. It's Pete's Wibbly Wobbly. Yeah. I don't think I'll be using that. And as for the paint job, Rob, I don't think I'm going to go box art. No. Because you are, aren't you? I am, yes. And if we've got two exactly the same, we're going to just crash into each other. We more, are, aren't more we? More than we usually do. When we, we, so we will be running these together, so that should be something to look forward to. Uh, right, wheels and tyres. Now, of all the things about this car I've said, I do love it. Everything so far is really ticking the boxes for me. Um, I'm really glad I've got this one. But these are the only letdown for me, right? Yeah. Because they're off an entry level TTO2 basically. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they've done that. It's the only thing that I'm disappointed about, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm going to use them and I think it'll look okay, but they could have just made it look a bit different, couldn't they? They could, yeah. Uh, you know, something, you know, something maybe a proper Avanti wheels. Yeah, or, or just a new design. Anyway, 
um, that it is what it is so that's that these are also available on lots of other kits aren't they they are Extra level they're the Tamiya square spikes but again I'm not complaining about these because no, they're one of my like favorite them. tires so hang on Rob oh not bad not bad that so yeah they'll be going on looking forward to that right then so we're uh, getting towards the end of it now so quickly onto the parts bags I'm not going to get them all out like we usually do because it's going to take ages there's lots of them yes. so you've got parts bag a you've got a nice bit of aw grease there yeah which surprised me for the little you use oh right well i'll have a bit of spare there that's oh, yeah. always, always comes in handy and uh, lovely blue is that the motor mount rob it is yeah we talk about metal is good in you know where, yeah. where it's uh, designed to go so that's ideal it, it helps to uh, take heat away from the motor as well yeah. so that's a good use of metal and you can see all the other gears in there are plastic got some ball joints we've got some turnbuckles and uh, screws and some ceramic grease is that oh is it no molly, no, molly, molly, molly grease molly bedinium grease if that's how you say it parts bag b quickly you've got your ball diff grease we've got lots and lots of little balls in there <coughs> for the diffs and i can't really see the rest of what's in this bag mm. uh, some drive shafts i think there's a metal drive shaft as i say most of those parts and we've got some ball bearings in there as well Bag C, this is obviously for the shocks. We've got some for the hard damper all, is it, Rob? It is, yes, There's sir. Number 900, you've got some uh, more nuts and bolts, and say those are all Allen keys, aren't they? They are, yeah. Allen head bolts. You've got the springs, and we've got the springs there for the uh, high torque servo saver. Pass bag D, ooh, look at that drive shaft, yes. Rob. Prop shaft, I do like that and so you've got that you've got more gears more ball joints you've got lots of uh, tiny little ball bearings in there and looks like metal parts for the uh, slipper clutch isn't it for the, no, for sorry, the diff for the yeah. diff slipper clutch <laughs> yeah. that's a hop up mate yes <laughs> it doesn't come with a slipper clutch nice yeah the see i knew what i was talking about but uh, you can get a, a slipper clutch upgrade for it you know some more ball bearings and the the good point about these um, ball diffs are oh, they are metal aren't they they are yeah. plastic on some of the others and finally parts bag E you've got some nice stainless steel suspension shafts there aren't they yep um, for the suspension pivots I should say yep. um, springs we've got some nice bits of uh, anodized oh they're anodized wheel nuts aren't they they are yeah and more ball bearings and R clips in there nuts and bolts You've got your tape, you've got a bit of Velcro and some more body clips. And then you've got a bag which has got some foam in there. Yeah. Uh, is that for the ball joints, Rob? Yep. Stop the dirt going in, which is and good, like the XV01. Other foam with double sided tape on it yep. for yeah, dust proofing stuff. Yep, so that's nice, yeah, the way it's all nicely thought off to keep everything nice and uh, clean inside, hopefully. And finally, the sticker pack and the manual. So it's quite uh, minimal, isn't it? The stickers yeah. on it, Rob, which is good after the last few sticker jobs I've been doing. I can tell you, mate. So <laughs> definitely, mate. Window masks, which look like they're going to be fun. Yeah. And also for you got for masking off the area where there's a window in there where you can see yeah. through uh, to see the shocks. That's there, isn't it? Yeah. And at the side. On the sides. And a quick look at the lovely, beautifully laid out manual. Always a pleasure to use these Tamiya manuals. They are. And there's a lot of steps in this, isn't there, Rob? Just a few, so, mate, just yeah. a few. The build guide might go on a while, guys. I know Rob's already doing his, aren't you, at the moment? I am, yeah. So, yeah, how to sticker up the body, and how to spray it. Like I say, not sure, I haven't chosen exactly yet, but I've got a tin of metallic green. I've got some uh, good metal grey, um, which might look good as well. That's uh, metallic. Not sure, I've got a few colours, so I'll have a look at what, what I can do with that. But I'll worry about that after I've got the, uh, the chassis built. And there's all ways of how to tune up your uh, your chassis your shocks your tow in tow out and your camber and so on that's all good stuff and uh, yeah more and more tuning stuff there and you can record your settings i think somewhere in these what, what your favorite settings are so yeah going to be following through that that's your lot guys so uh, well thanks for following along i hope you've enjoyed this uh, little unboxing and i hope to see you soon it's good night from me and it's good night from him Cheers! Good night.